Hey everybody, Red Hat Runner here, coming to you with some Monday notes. Um, today I want to talk about back pain, tight butts, and the guilt measure. So this weekend was a really great weekend um, as far as fitness is concerned. I, I kind of thought originally my, my Saturday got thrown off a little bit and my Sunday, but Monday came along and instead of being a holiday, I thought, you know what? I gotta get to this. So I forgave myself for not doing much on Saturday and Sunday and let that go. And I moved into some pretty kick-ass workout routines followed by a Bikram yoga that was intensely hot and helped me stretch everything out, all my muscles, and worked out pretty fantastic. And now I feel great. Um, but I wanted to, to talk to you just for a moment about a couple of things that I've noticed recently. And what I've noticed with some of the people that I work out with is a lot um, of women complaining about back pain. And I have suffered and experienced the same thing, especially after COVID. I really spent probably the better part of two months with significant lower back pain, just from sitting and not being as active as I normally am. And um, I wasn't sure what to do for it. I tried stretching every day. I tried making sure that I was getting out of my chair. I went to have acupuncture done. I went and had chiropractic um, alignment done. I went to a neurologist and actually got shots for, I forget, they called them some kind of points um, where your muscles just tense up so much that they, they sort of can't loosen. And you know, it was prescribed physical therapy. like all of these things for back pain and nothing was really working it would work for a little bit but then i'd fall right back into that pattern so someone asked me to go to yoga and at first i thought oh, i'm not so sure about big room like it's really hot in there and it's already hot enough outside and i had tried it once before and it just really didn't fit at that time for me so i grudgingly went to Bikram yoga and found that it was a really soothing experience. So after the first time, I decided to go back and give it another try. So I went back a second time and on I think my, my second or third time trying it, I finally, I, I broke down and bought a package because what I realized was there's not any back pain. I mean, once in a while, I, I can't say, oh, I'm great forever, but my back pain has really, really been alleviated by the stretching and the heat and the movement. Um, and and it, it, it's just helped me tremendously and I wanted to share that with all of you. And part of the reason for that, um, that alleviation of pain is the one thing that I was told to do was to hold my belly band in. So this lower area of your stomach, like really contract it so it tucks under. If you've ever been a ballerina or danced, you know that, you know, you have to hold that, that booty under a little bit and make sure your belly band is, is really squeezed tight and then clench your butt tucks cheeks <laughs> I don't know really what to call them appropriately but clench your butt really really tight and hold it even if you're in line at the grocery store like hold it for a good 10 seconds and then release then hold it for a good 10 seconds and release and I will tell you that I hope for you will do what it did for me and make all the difference in the world um, because it did, it did. And my back is so much better. And now when I do things at the gym and I do things around my house or around my yard, I don't have that significant back pain that I was having. I mean, I was sleeping with my legs on pillows and on a heating pad every night and taking ibuprofen like it was candy. This helps, yoga helps. There's also an app um, 
called Yoga 15 that is wonderful. They have several free videos that I use for a long period of time till I finally broke down and bought um, the subscription to it. I think it's a one-time fee, um, but it's called Yoga 15. The lady's name is Abby, but I can't remember her last name, but you can look it up. She'll pop right up. And even on YouTube, there's lots of free yoga videos, but, but really give it a try. I think that you will find that it is very, very helpful, very beneficial. And it's not something that's going to kill you. It's not something that you have to take forever to do. You can do it, you know, in the morning when you wake up, you can do it at night before you go to bed. You can do it for 15 minutes. You can do it for an hour and a half. It's kind of one of those things that, that you just determine yourself. With that, I hope you take that. I hope you feel better. I hope your back or your legs or your arms or whatever might ail you will feel better because of uh, sorry about that glitch I got a phone call right in the middle well at the end of my video and I'm not that tech savvy so I didn't know what the heck to do with it I kind of panicked for a second but there's only one more thing I want to talk to you about and that is the guilt measure so this weekend being the long weekend you know you always think about spending time with your family and and that's wonderful um, today and and actually it started on Saturday because I met with Ivy you guys know I, I'm sure you've seen our little uh, live segment which I've never done that before that was that was pretty intense and crazy but so exciting and we had a great time doing it but I had spent probably another hour hour and a half after our, our live segment just talking and today I spent the better part of my time um, taking part in fitness stuff for me and for those of you that are like me and have that guilt measure like oh you know I'm taking this time and I'm going to yoga or I'm spending an extra hour and a half with you know a friend chatting um, and not spending it with my family or not throwing the laundry in the wash or not you know doing any of those things that we as wives and mothers and sisters and moms and all of that kind of stuff are sort of supposed to do forgive yourself good for you that you did something that you love and that's good for you now you can go out into the world you can be a better wife you can be a better mom you can be a better teacher you can be a better whatever you happen to be maybe a better dog owner <laughs> anyway enjoy the rest of your weekend not much to it left but uh, enjoy it have a blessed week and I hope that you take time for yourself so you can be better for others be kind be blessed